Central banks are promising the best of all worlds for the equity markets and um, traders on the equity markets yesterday started to really go all in, at least when you look at euro stocks and at least at the DAX, which um, uh, had a big jump upward after the Bank of England actually um, promised to even to do even more in the coming weeks and months should the economy, the UK econo economy weaken um, even further. So the specter of low rates for, lo for a longer time has actually um, motivated buyers to get into euro stocks. That was something that uh, was, was expected at least because funds were have a strong overweight in US stocks. They were going out of euro stocks so sooner or later if the signal was there and it seems that there was some kind of signal yesterday because of the Bank of England, should the signal be there, they would diversify from, Euro, from US stocks to Euro stocks. And it might be a first sign that this is actually happening. In the end, we got no real alternatives right now to stocks uh, because central banks are um, engaging in pushing rates even lower. Yesterday was the Bank of England trying to really execute on the um, QE um, bond buying program. Actually, it fell short by 52 million pounds yesterday of its target to buy more than a billion pounds of long dated government debt. It was just that investors were not ready to sell those papers, so, uh, so those uh, bonds, which still have a positive yield on them. And so they hold on to them and the Bank of England actually fell short of its target and so its efforts to stimulate Britain's economy are just a little weaker than they should be in the current uh, environment. So worldwide we've got 180 billion dollars of bond buys buying by the uh, central banks. So yes there is some effect if you look at the arguments from George Soros, Carl Icahn and the hedge fund managers and the big boys out there in the equity markets, they're very bearish because they somehow rely on the traditional valuation uh, metrics and methodologies to um, say, okay, the fair value of stocks is uh, way below. It was Mark Farber yesterday saying, okay, he expects a crash in the S&P 500 index by 50% uh, from, from current price levels. And he says that, okay, in the end, valuation metrics are not fair. But that is a traditional valuation metric in a world where central banks are not buying 180 billion of, uh, of uh, yeah, government bonds on a monthly basis. But it also could be, if you believe that, this time everything is different, it might be a very dangerous um, uh, opinion because if there is one very, very expensive um, saying or quote about the markets, it is that this time everything is different. Yesterday on Wall Street there were um, somehow weaker oil prices. They somewhat hovered along the uh, close of the day before because there were doubts on the OPEC rumors. Um, OPEC and it was Venezuela the day before saying okay we need a meeting between the OPEC and non-OPEC producers. So somehow um, Russia and perhaps even the United States um, meet on one negotiation table to somehow cap the uh, worldwide oil production. Yeah, nice try from Venezuela, but nobody really believes in that. And so that somehow dampened oil price yesterday. There was some um, profit taken in oil stocks yesterday as well. So where well, we had some, some strength in healthcare, and technology stocks yesterday on Wall Street. But the big thing is the DAX, which actually went up strongly after the Bank of England policymaker Ian McCafferty said more quantitative easing was likely to be required the, uh, if the UK's economy, uh, if the decline should worsen. And that was some signal for the Euro stocks and the DAX yesterday broke above the resistance at um, 10,487, 10,500. What we've got there is the high of April and what we've got there is the downtrend line coming from the all-time high in the DAX um, starting at 12,400. If you draw a line um, on the tops, 
since then in the downtrend, we have that downtrend line and we've got the horizontal resistance line. So there's a cluster resistance at 10,500. And if you look at the DAX, it strongly broke out of that. So that might be the start of, or at least it is the end of the downtrend, but it might be the start of a new uptrend or at least a new sideways trend and no downtrend anymore in the DAX. So that is some sort of um, step in the right direction. We have to look at it in detail in the coming days and weeks, what comes out of that. But it's a positive signal, could be the start of some diversification by investment funds from their um, uh, overweight of US stocks and somehow they could diversify back to Euro stocks, which have uh, significantly lagged behind.